I've got four more 15 minute tasks. It is week two, zone two. So I'm gonna be working in the kitchen. And I've been looking around to see what are some things that really need doing. And I was watching a video and I saw how nasty this person's dishwasher was. And I thought, okay, I probably need to do my dishwasher. It's been a while since I've done that. My own garbage disposal is looking quite nasty. So that's going to be another task that I'm going to do this week. And then I'm going to work on the freezer that's here in the kitchen. It is definitely at sixes and sevens. And yes, the freezer is going to take more than 15 minutes. So I'm going to work on the top three shelves on one day and the bottom three shelves on another day. And then that should take care of my four 15 minute units. And an important thing to remember is that my daily swish and swipe is done. My morning routine is done. So now it's time to get my zone cleaning done. And as Fly Lady Cat says, get that zone cleaning done immediately after your morning routine and then you've got the rest of the day free. So let's get today's task of cleaning the garbage disposal started. This video is brought to you by Apron Diva. Pretty and practical, we believe that an apron can be a homemaker's best accessory. Visit us at www.aprondiva.com. So the first task that I'm going to do today of week two, zone two, is to clean the garbage disposal. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go ahead and clean the dishwasher. And whereas normally I would do only one task today, it's only going to take a minute to pour the stuff in the dishwasher. So I thought I'd go ahead and get those two tasks knocked out. And then on Wednesday, I can take care of the third task on the list. So let's get this started. It sounds like there's something down there. I'm not sure what that was, but it was very thick and it was green. Like maybe it was the stem off of some kind of a fruit or vegetable. But whatever it was, the garbage disposal didn't do a very good job with it. And I always like to look to see if there's anything in there once I turned it on and I ran it. And I could just tell it sounded a little odd. So I'm glad I got whatever it was out. So now I'm going to go ahead and get started getting this cleaned up. So the first thing I'm going to do is unplug the garbage disposal. The last thing I want to do is injure myself while I'm cleaning the disposal. I've got a solution of one part Dawn dishwashing liquid, one part vinegar, and one part water. And I'm going to spray that down. Into this disposal because I want to clean around this area here. I always get some kind of a buildup. And this is one of the times I do like to wear gloves. So I like to get underneath these phalanges. This just kind of helps keep any particles or whatever from popping up when the disposal is on, but it can get kind of nasty under there. Now let's make sure we got everything out of there and it's looking a lot better already. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Now I'm going to put a half a cup of coarse salt into the drain and a big tray of ice cubes. Plug it back in. Now I'm going to turn on the water and the disposal at the same time and it'll make kind of a grimy, salty paste. Now I'm going to add a half a cup of baking soda and a cup of vinegar into the disposal and I can already hear it starting to fizz. And I'm going to let this baking soda and vinegar solution sit for about 15 minutes. 
Now I've unplugged and plugged this garbage disposal a few different times and the reason for that is for safety. We don't want it to accidentally come on and you've got your finger or some other kind of tool down there. So yes, the plugging and the unplugging is an important step in this process. So now that I've let the baking soda and the vinegar sit in the bottom of the disposal for about 15 minutes, I'm going to take my plug and just plug up the sink and I'm going to fill it with soapy water. And as always, I'm using Dawn dishwashing liquid when I really want to get things clean, like when I'm scrubbing something, so I always like to use this. Now I'm going to unplug the drain and turn on the disposal. I'm going to leave these to soak just for a bit. As often happens, something's come up, so I'm not going to be able to get to the dishwasher today. So it'll go on my task two for zone two as it should have. In the meantime, this garbage disposal is done and my sink is nice and clean. So I'll see you tomorrow for another day of zone cleaning. So we're back again and it is day two of zone two and task number two is going to be to clean the dishwasher. And yesterday I cleared out, cleaned out the garbage disposal and I wanted to make sure that the trap and the pipes or the tubing that goes through the disposal was nice and clean so that when I clean the dishwasher, it'll be able to just run and flush through without any problem. What am I going to use? Well, there are things you can purchase to clean your dishwasher with. For example, I've got some purchase products called Let Me Shine, which is a dishwasher cleaner that you can use to remove buildup. And they recommend using this product once a month. But I am going to use natural products, things that I typically already have at home and that you may already have at home as well. So I'm going to start this two-step process with a cup of white vinegar in the dishwasher and I'll just set it on the top rack and just kind of let it do its thing and that will help get rid of any residual grease, debris, that kind of thing that might be in the dishwasher, in the drain, and in the filter. Then I'm going to take a half a cup of baking soda and sprinkle it along the bottom of the drum in the dishwasher, run it again on the hottest water possible, and then that will take care of any residue. Anything that the vinegar mitts, the baking soda should take care of. I thought I'd clean up the outside while the inside was doing its thing. Now here's something I want you to think about though. Many times I will save glass jars from let's say salsa or whatever I purchased and I want to save the jar. I make sure to take the label off before I put it in the dishwasher. That is one of the things that so often ends up clogging up either your filter or the drain. So make sure you remove all those labels off of the jars before you put them in the dishwasher. I tend to rinse my dishes before I put them in and you don't really have to do that. I'm just old school that way and I like to do that. But you can at least give them a good scraping so there's not a bunch of gunk that ends up accumulating in your dishwasher drain. Oh wow, it looks really, really good in here. And it smells so nice and fresh. Well, task two of week two for zone two, check. It's week two, zone two, and day three. And today's task, I am going to work on this freezer. I was gonna do the microwave first, but I thought, you know what? This freezer is probably gonna take more than 15 minutes to get done. So I thought, let's get started on that. Plus, the freezer is certainly much more urgent than the microwave. So let's get that started.
That's why I need to work on the freezer. Part of this came from my husband rearranged his freezer out in the garage where he keeps his fish and different things like that for summer. And he brought it in the house and stuffed it in here. So now I've got to manage it. A lot of this is last year's harvest. I've got the top three shelves emptied out. Now we'll make sense of the mess. I'm just using a little vinegar and water cleaner to wipe this out. You don't want to use any scented cleaners in the freezer. You just don't. Get that smell in there and you may never let it out. Well, as often happens, I went down a rabbit hole. I did get that freezer sorted out. I ended up going ahead and just taking care of all of the six shelves in the freezer. But here's what I found. There were a lot of things in there with freezer burn that needed to be discarded. There were also some things in there that I needed to use now. And there were a few things in there that for whatever reason, we put them in the wrong kind of freezer bag or we didn't put them in the freezer bag properly and they had freezer burn or they needed to be repackaged. So I ended up doing that. So I got out my handheld food saver, this little jobby right here. I got out my handheld food saver and I repackaged some of those things and now the shelf looks really nice. And the other thing I decided to do was I just put things in here like one of each or things that I would need to use like next week. So I've already been thinking about what I'm gonna to plan to cook for next week and just left those things in the freezer. And then if there were multiples or duplicates, I put those in my new air freezer outside. So part of the stuff that I had in the freezer was chicken bones and onion peels and carrot shavings and things like that, things that I saved to make bone broth. So I went ahead and got that started. I thought, let's just go ahead, get it out of the freezer, get it into the crock pot, or the slow cooker, I should say, and get the chicken bone broth started. I can just let it cook in the slow cooker. It'll do its thing, and I don't have to worry about it until it's time to get it out. The other thing was I found some things in there that I can make for dinner tonight. So we're gonna be having some leftover Italian chicken that I found in there with some leftover pina pasta, add a little bit of pasta sauce, and we've got dinner. I also found these pretzel rolls or pretzel buns in the freezer as well. So I'll put these in the oven and we'll have these as dinner rolls with our meal tonight. I also found some purple whole peas that probably need to be cooked and I'll cook those for dinner on Sunday to go along with the roast chicken. So I'm planning ahead. So I've already started shopping my fridge, my freezer and my pantry and I'm planning ahead. And ta-da! Here's the freezer. Doesn't it look nice? So here are my peppers that I've frozen from last year. These are the yellow and red peppers. These are green peppers with a little red in there. So now I can just get those out when I need them. This shelf is neatly organized. Veggies and things I use for smoothies on this shelf. Meat and shrimp and different things like that on that shelf. And then other things that I use on this shelf. This took longer than 15 minutes. It took longer than 30 minutes. So I've already used up my four 15 minute increments of time for the week. So I am not going to be cleaning the oven hood um, tomorrow. I'm done with my zone cleaning for the week. And quite a bit of it revolved around the freezer. But I am not unhappy because I got a task done that I had been needing to do for quite a long time. For more homemaking inspiration, click here. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying you are not done yet. Click on the link in the comment section below and check out another of my homemaking stories, particularly my 15-minute task, and I will see you next time. And don't forget to visit us at aprondiva.com.